Kasper. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode on the realm of Bastion server. We are finally back on this server. It's been quite a while since we've been on here. There's been a lot of work that has been done and we're going to do a little build today just to get back into the swing of things on here. Um, I really haven't been on here hardly at all over the entire break that I was on. So yeah, we're, we're going to take some look-sees at the different builds and stuff. I need rockets, rockets, tools, nothing. Oh my pickaxe. That's a lot of pickaxes. Okay. We'll just make some rockets. Uh, take like 16 and then what do you need what is it that rocket needs paper yes you need paper for rockets we it is uh in the morning so if i am yawning and stuff and cutting stuff out i am sorry um here comes the yard okay so yeah there's been a lot of stuff done so we're gonna take a look see real quick at some of the things that have been done um, but I am really excited, um, to finally get back into things here. And, uh, yeah, some of this stuff, a lot of the stuff I haven't even taken a look at really. So let's, um, there's a lot to look at here. So let's go this way first. So I believe, I don't remember what this is called. I think this is maybe the traders guild or uh, something like that. Maybe this is the builders guild. I don't know, but we built this adventurers guild. Sorry. I think, it, or it's not Klot it's related to Klotos. I think they did this during the live stream that raised money for Klotos' sister's, um, her, what's it called? Surgery? Anything in here? No. Yeah, so he, they raised, they were raising money, and I think this is the build they were building um, when they were doing that. And I like it. I like how big it is. I like the, it's a little different than these. It's like a wider version and still about the same height. I like that. I like what this looks like. Um, Moving right along, we've got, okay, well, this has been here. You've seen this and that's new. It's interesting. Um, I know Nini had made this. Um, this is a smaller version of that house and we're going to be building something kind of like a hybrid between both of these um and i think that'll be good i'm not exactly sure who built it honestly i don't really know who built all any of these uh i know a few builds this i'm gonna take a stab at and say it was ninny just because he's been from what i know down here the most um this could be ninny kind of inspired i would it looks like it's inspired by that build over there which is fix it's um and i don't know what exactly it is just like storage or something or dock i don't know exactly it's cool though i like it i do like we're kind of going with two different roof styles here we've got like this rounded here area here for the docks and then we've got this sharper roof here for most everybody else. And I like that. Um, Criddle Skittles, I believe, is doing this. Um, if you haven't checked him out, I think he just started a YouTube channel. I'm going to link to him. Whoa, that was a transition. I was not expecting to just like come into this area like this, but I believe he has a YouTube channel now. I may be wrong. Um, I'll double check. And if so, I'm going to definitely put a link um, in the description below. Definitely check him out because this dude is a crazy builder. Like absolutely crazy. Like look at all this. This is awesome stuff. I don't even know what half of it is. Oh, this looks like a church because of the cross. Is this like a little church? Uh, it might be like a church or a library or something. I'm not sure. It's very very cool though like this is just like a super cool town build um but yeah uh critical skittles is super cool at 
his build style is super cool and he definitely knows what in the world he's doing because he makes some crazy stuff like look at all this this is fantastic this is beautiful stuff man so this is gorgeous stuff um i believe that's criddle skittles if not sorry whoever was making that i'm 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 giving criddles the credit for your build um but let's keep on waddling over. Let's walk along the docks, eat some fish, as it were, because we are fishermen. And this gargantuan of a build is um, by far the biggest like town building we've got, I think. Or well, I think. Besides, don't don't look over there. You know. Okay, so this is Grumpy Owl. That's Fix It. Fix It just builds big. So. We're going to, I think what Grumpy and I should do is try and rein him in and make him build small things because I think that'd be funny. I don't know. Fix it just always builds really huge things. I think that could be a funny thing to do. Um, but Grumpy is building this build here. And this is the inn. And I got to say, I love, absolutely love like the shape. It's so odd. But it looked like I just watched this video um, recently on this and he was talking about how it's like the shape of it shows multiple different generations of how this build has gone. Building has been going like been built in each um, time frame. So like there'd be like this bottom area was like the main first build and then they built up and made a second floor and a big old freaking roof that's a big roof it looks almost like it could just be a boat hole they put up there i don't know i also do that on the waystone so i could be biased on that and then for some reason they were like we need a tower and they built this x tower but it's not like a tower all the way down to the ground gosh i hate that bouncing it's not like a tower all the way to the ground perfectly it's like let's just bump it out and put some supports below it and then a little area here like the tower i think is my favorite part and then this little area here, too, is very cool. But something about that, something about the detail work on the tower is really just, it looks like it shouldn't work, but it does. And it's its just really cool. I really like this company. And he's, he's not done with it. Um, <laughs> I'm sure by the time he gets done with it, it's going to be like four times bigger and with a whole bunch of other different things. Like this is probably just like phase one and he's not even done with it, but super cool. I really love this. Um, and I am actually really looking forward to trying to build more like this than doing just like standard buildings. Um, not that these are bad, not, not saying these are these two are bad or anything like that, but having like unique builds spread, spread across the different town areas is going to be really cool because you're going to see like your standard builds that we can copy and paste and do a lot of them really quick or at least moderately quick. But then you're going to have the unique builds that are interwoven throughout that really just tie in and bring some really awesome stuff to it. Uh, I'm going to fly to the next area because... There we go. Because it's... Uh, well, it's not that far away. I guess I was just being a wimp. So this is the, I believe, Joe Hill's... Ma Joe Hill's? No. No. So this is the next area. I believe this is done by Joel. Um, he, this is like the gate, the main, main gate. And, you know, he's made comments about how small, how like it's smaller than, it's like the smallest build that is around it. And as much as I understand, okay, sorry, um, I had to sleep and then I kept yawning, um, but anyways, he I know he's talked about it, how it is. These are these two things are short comparatively to, I mean, that build and then Grumpy's build like it is short, but I don't think short is necessarily bad. I don't honestly think it is because like the detail of it is really good and you can always easily, easily make these taller. He's made them big enough and round, and, or like big enough when they're round that something on top wouldn't look 
bad. Like he could make them into two towers with like cro- a crosswalk and an archway or something. Like he could have it so it's big enough. I think what we have to do is build the because um, I think what he was doing was keeping it low so that you could see if it'll come into the frame. Yeah. Okay. Well, come into the frame. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Is he gonna load? Is he gonna load? Hello? No? Oh, this road has been laid out even more too. Okay, so there. So he, <clears throat> I think what he was doing was keeping it low so that he could have the tree in sight and not block hardly any of it. And I think he's been rather successful with that. But what I think you could do is the tree went up to like right there. If you make, if you want this taller, you could make this a tower that has a big old arch on it that then like frames the main tree. Now the tree is going to be freaking huge. And so you're not really going to be able to do that too terribly well anyways. So I don't really think that the view if you're wanting to see everything i don't think that's going to be possible and so i don't think you need to necessarily worry about it as long as like they get to hear they'll be able to see the glory that is this beautiful beautiful tree um so if you want to make it taller i don't think that's a problem but i also think it's pretty dang good not oh you're missing some buttons there that's okay we won't. Oh, no, never mind. Maybe you're not missing buttons. Maybe you just did that. No, I think you're missing buttons. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But if you're wanting to, if you want these taller, I don't think it'd be hard, but I think this is a really cool build. I really like the detail work of it. And I really like how, I don't know. I like, it's different. It almost looks like it's from a different era than these because this is made with, is this spruce wood? I think this is spruce wood. Yeah, it's spruce wood. So it's made with the same materials of the area, but it looks like it's a slightly different um, time frame. Like maybe this was old, an older wall portion. Or something I don't know it could be something like that you could always spin it like that um, this roadway is gonna be really cool though I don't know who's laying out this roadway but this is I like how it twists and turns um, and then Jermsey going I think that's Jermsey I know I'm pretty sure that was all fix this is Jermsey and potentially Joel um, people are crazy man uh, this is cool I don't know what this is but ooh. This makes me think, like, it, since this is terraced up, you could have, like, a river flow this way. I don't know if that would be possible, but that just makes me think that there would be, like, a tributary that leads into here. That could be really cool. Not sure. Um, Joel's also doing some really cool, like, just quick drawings and quick art of... Or moderately really quick, I suppose. I say quick, but I feel like when I say quick, I mean, like, potentially hours and hours and hours invested into it, but it's still not like a fully finished thing or anything like that. Um, but I think this is where he has been hidey holing like right here to draw. He draws out the tree to make it look like, uh, like give us a, a blueprint to go off of. Uh, let's go around the front side first because we've got some really cool things to look at. So we've got this fun area and, uh, this uh, I'm not sure it, what this is. If this is going to be just like an outer walk, I believe that's all it's going to be is an outer walk. Um, what are those called? Are those called like wharfs? I don't know my terminologies, but um, it's like an outer walk from um, the wall and then the outer walk. And there's going to be, I would imagine this place is going to be huge enough. I feel like this is going to be like almost a, a, bi a big enough dock that it's going to be like rivaling or bigger than Port Bray. Like that's what this makes me think of. I feel like docks would be like all along here and all along down there. But I could be wrong. This giant build. Okay, this isn't. It's okay. It's big. It's a big build. Um, 
I believe this is Fix, and this is the, the I want to say it's just like a boatyard where they're making the, all the ships and things. Uh, boop. Yeah, you, so you've got this giant, awesome, like this, I think if we did this along the docks, that could be really cool. Like it, there's a certain style along the docks and then certain style for houses and then certain maybe a different style for some other build. I don't know exactly. Um, but the dude just made a boat, just another boat casually inside, ready to go. And then I think there's a partial boat. Yeah, there's a partial boat over here. And this is really cool. I, if I ever want to build a boat, which we will be building boats in uh, Bruin Build here, not like crazy soon, but moderately soon, um, definitely have to come onto here to get some inspiration because there's a lot of boats on this server. I also, let me know your thoughts. This is a, this is a, for my resource pack, what are your thoughts on this granite? Because... I have honestly thought about just taking this direct granite and putting it into our pack. If, I mean, as long as it's okay with Jeremy, I don't imagine it would be a problem, but because I love this granite way more than the other granite. I think this is a far more usable granite. Oh, and there's a, oh, okay, that's the same one. Never mind. I was like, oh, there's another one. No, um, I love this granite. I absolutely love this granite. I think this is truly an awesome texture, awesome color combination with the slight gray flecks in there and then the more granity pinky that we are all used to. I think this is a fantastic color. And I think what I would do is change. Um, I don't know what I would do for polished. I don't know if I would do this or what. I may or I may not. I'm not sure, but let me know your thoughts on that because I really like that texture and I have <laughs> almost changed it already multiple times. I've almost, like I come onto the server and I'm like, I want that in my world, but then I don't because I, or well, I don't not want it. I don't change it because I want to ask you. Um, these are just some other houses and walls and stuff. And I think we're going with the, I believe we're going with the idea. I don't know if it was me that had it or who, but we're going to, I like this little square area. I like this. And I do also like that we're not going to have, well, like these are not strictly, that looks like a little Santa house. Um, I don't think we're going to go necessarily with a straight up, like must be like that build ha like style. Um, I think I might. I'm going to do that today. We're going to be building that one up today. Uh, it's not going to be anything terribly crazy that happens on camera. I'm just going to be copy pasting basically and going with some new ideas that I might come up with. Um, but I do like having the different house styles over here as well. I think that's really cool. Um, but this area is really cool as well. Um, but what I was saying was I think we're going with the idea. I don't know if I had it or if it was somebody else. First, in my mind, I thought I think I may have had it or at least originally thought it because over here when I was originally ooh, bridge, um, what I was originally thinking of doing was having different town sections be um, kind of segmented by these platforms because there's like a river area here. So we could have like a platform that stops like here and then the river drops down and then the there's like a maybe a bridge that comes up and meets it and then each section is broken up by these river portions and what we could do we could even connect that that could be an easy connection i don't know um but it would be like different towns different like sections for the town uh, raised up on platforms and so the roads main main roadways are kind of sunken in to the uh, ground a bit to relieve them from the cold uh, sort of stuff and I originally thought that this might come out all the way over here and like wrap all the way around there but that doesn't necessarily have to be the case I think this actually could be 
this could come out to like right here or something, something like that. Maybe to here. I don't know exactly. I'll have to play around with it, but I'm going to try and mark this out because these are starting to get marked out. Is that all andesite? Ooh, I guess there is the ch extant. What is that? Okay, we have to keep exploring. We're not done yet. This area is really cool. Uh, to me, it strikes me as a Jeremzy build, but I'm not really sure. Um, what in the world is this thing? I have not seen this. Uh, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, oh, and then one of you had, for Bruin Build, had suggested that the um, gray carpet be changed to a stone. And whoa, this is really cool. I don't have, I don't have any idea what the heck this is, but I think this is really cool. I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, keep doing what you're doing. What's in there? A lot of glass. That's fitting. Um, but one of you had the idea of changing, like this is the coal, coarse dirt or dirt uh, texture. And one of you had the idea of changing the gray carpet in our Bruin build world to stone. And I thought that was a good idea. I'd been kind of leaning towards that uh, to do for like texture, like hidden light sources. I was thinking about doing that anyways, um, but I thought that was a good idea. I thought I'd point that out because I also have thought about doing this to our brown. Um, but let's take one gander around here. So the tree is going to be big, obviously, and I don't know exactly what Germs' plan is, but that this is looking rather huge and is going to be freaking awesome. I'm pretty sure that castle, pretty sure the castle is going to like wrap around the tree like this or something. I think this is going to be the castle. I don't know. Not really sure. It's kind of a Jeremy fix it project or a Jeremy project or I don't know. He's our as fix says our resident castle builder. Um I think fix can build a castle perfectly fine anyways, but very very Interested to see how in the world all that over there turns out. Um, and this is, I think, the last thing that we have to show. This is the Church of the End, and Fix-It made this, I believe. I believe this was all Fix-It. Kind of, this strikes me as a Fix-It build. Uh, what is this? Um, a hole. I fell in a hole. Okay, what is this? Beacon. Oh, well, that's not a beacon. Ooh. I like some of these. Ooh. I, I, I like all this. Um, and this is working. Uh, Fix It said this is working. So we're going to try it, and we're going to see. Oh, he did the inside. Oh, there's an Enderman. How quaint. Um, I'm just going to keep on walking i'm gonna keep on walking get out of here okay um i think he said stand on the ice sweet lord if i die Ugh. okay it worked that was terrifying. Um, yeah, we'll just go into the end. If you haven't seen this, this is how you get into the end in this world because Fix It is a madman. And he makes crazy things. Um, didn't take a look at that build, but that's okay. Let me uh, get back to our world. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building. I've already planned some things out, so I'm going to start building up a build, a... Uh, What's it called? House. And it's going to be right here. And oh, how nice. So I've already started planning it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just build up this type of house here. And then I'm going to bring you in like every now and again to do some detail work. So let me get some building done and I will see you in just a minute. 
all right guys so i have quite a bit done on the house i have walls and basic roof idea done um still got some detail Ooh, my phone's going off um still got some detail work to do on this quite a bit actually um need to go through and interlace the granite and stuff in um i decided to do a different approach to the roof than what grumpy has done here um, instead of having the shingles hang down one of the wood, I put them, uh, put the wood in front so you don't see it. And instead, it, I'm not sure about this. I don't really think I like this a ton. Um, what uh, I don't like necessarily, it's not that I don't like it, I guess. This is interesting, but I wanted to try and do something different. And over here on his, he's got this wood pattern going up, um, kind of like striping going up. And instead of doing that, I'm taking a different approach and maybe doing some large cross beams that go across like this, like logs that stick out. So we're going to do that on either side. Um, and I'll be figuring this out more. But what I wanted to do is over here, we've got... This building is what made me think of it. So we have this building that has this rounded shootout. And I really like the round aspect that we've got going around in different builds. Um, and so I'm going to take inspiration from these. And I want to look at trying to build out a rounded um, dormer window, I suppose. Ooh, did Grumpy have some already built? I thought that was going to be a dormer window. Um, I wanted to build out a dormer window on this build on either side and got it. Ooh, barely got it. Um, and I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I wanted to try it out. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Really? 12. One, two, three, four. No, there's not 12. Uh, did I do this wrong? Now I'm confused. Okay, so this is the center. Uh, one of these blocks was off. And so I think what we're going to try and do is probably do a dormer. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Do it like here. One, two, three. And then one, two, one, two. Um, then we can have it come up by maybe two or something i'm not sure one two and then let's see can we see what that is comes up up and then it shallows out so i'm guessing this would be by one and then probably that would be the top right there um which would probably be slabs actually they probably have to be a slab so we could do something like that, and then this would come out like that, here, here, there, there, and then let's grab these and plop these up like so, and then let's bring this in here, and why not? Let's do that. We'll do that and then doesn't have to be fully rounded just wanted a rounded aspect to it and then we can have some wood coming out like that and then maybe a stick out here Ooh, ooh, i know we'll do what we did on there it's starting to get dark very very dark here here and we'll just do the one okay we'll sleep Ouch, slap my face on my bed. And let's see what that looks like. Let's see what the shape looks like. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Let me clear it out. Ooh, almost went in there. Okay, there. Clearing this out. And then how shall we do this? Hmm. Like that I think that's gonna be like this 
and then this window's right here. So let's eat. So in case we get shot by a skeleton or something that spawns down there, we don't just insta die. Um, and then this goes like that. Cool. I think this is actually going to be good. We can have just like a tall dormer window like that. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. I think that's pretty good. Um, this we may bring this down. Oh, no, down this piece of wood down. I think I might do that. Um, but other than that, I think that's going to be good. And I'll put a stair right there to cover up the shingles. Um, but I think that's going to be good. I'm going to do that to the other side of the house. All right, so I did um, quite a bit more work, and I'll show you the outside in just a few. Um, but what I wanted to do was finish this up with you um, on camera. I know I get the I'm probably going to have to cut it weirdly um, from the last clip, uh, because I didn't think that I would have time today to be able to finish this on the exterior at least. But I think I'm going to be able to. Um, so I think I will extend the episode just a touch and make it a little bit longer of an episode. Um, just so, so that we can uh, have an, a nice finished product to look at and this actually is going to be a where am i here's that block so this one is a stair stair cool so that's that and then that goes one two three ha oh, ha Oh, okay, count the, count the middle circles. One. And then skip two, skip three, skip four. Four. One, two, three. Oh. Four. Okay. There, there, there. Break. Okay, and then... We're here, so right above us needs to be a stair. Boom. Okay, cool, cool. I just wanted to lay that out because sometimes it's a pain in the butt. Okay, so I... Oh, well, I guess I'll show you um, what I was looking around this place um, with, with our texture pack, the Bruin Build texture pack, and oh my gosh, thank you, um... Jeremy for making a really great pack because this place looks horrendous. Okay, it doesn't look horrend. No, it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty terrible without the texture pack on. I mean, Grumpy's roof is a vibrant red concrete instead of that beautiful shingle texture. It's a vibrant red concrete. It's gross. Anyways, so this is what I have done to the house, and I think it is good. I actually really like how this house has turned out. Uh, it's not I know it's not really anything crazy, like this episode's nothing crazy, it's just kind of getting back into the groove of things, but I like how this has turned out. It's been a fun, creative process. So what I decided to go for is a, a little more rundown of a building but i wanted to put some outcroppings on the sides uh, some like bigger dormer windows and i think we were pretty successful so like i had talked about in the last episode or not episode last clip i was trying to make it oh and it looks so much better with snow on it too uh let's land on top of okay this will maybe work kind of sort of um i don't remember what i was gonna say but i decided to make it here this will work i think yeah dang it whoop and there okay so anyways 
um, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do this. And so originally I was thinking they probably wouldn't have a lot of windows because it's cold. Um, but then I also thought, you know, they may have windows. They just are small, small windows instead of big giant like areas because the cold and the window and glass and stuff don't go well. Um, and so I would say, I mean, there are windows over there. Might as well use some windows and stuff. I mean, there are windows all over the place. So I just went ham. Um, I chose to use orange because um, I haven't seen it very often, and I liked the texture. I thought it was kind of fun. Um, so what I'm going to do here is probably just put some trap doors on the outside here and make these, this area and this area a planter. And then this is like a tiny little Juliet deck, almost little tiny bit bigger than a Juliet deck. But, um, and if you don't know what that is, um, a Juliet deck is basically, it's just a door that opens up to, um, it's a deck that is like, it's basically just a deck in the wall. It, you really don't have any space. It's, it's just to kind of look out of. It's nothing special, um, nothing crazy, but it makes builds a little bit more interesting. Um, and so, yeah. Um, but yeah, the only thing that we have left to do is the back wall. And, you know, I'm we may not finish it actually on camera. I don't think we need to um, because this episode is going to be getting long anyway since I decided to show you this more finished product. But I like how it's turned out. Um, I decided to go for a big porch on the front. And I also really like this bottom area. I like, so down there, Grumpy doesn't have much in the ways of wood. And I liked, I was trying to emulate that. But then I kind of thought, I, I think a little bit of wood down here is nice. Like, little supporting structures nothing crazy nothing like okay this gets a little crazy but um just a little bit of detail work um to add a splash of something different that's down below um it's very simple but it i tried to match grumpy with this upper portion just a bit um, but i alternated some stairs in there instead of just doing trap doors and stairs all the way across and then this deck area very simple Went with an interesting front rail, um, just trying to be a little bit different, a little bit interesting. And so I put stair slab, uh, two trap doors, trap doors across, and just to make this like arching, there's fences on the other side, um, just make a little arching bit. And then we've got some lanterns there, um, which are end rods in Jeremy's pack. And then of course, a bigger window and stuff. And so the interior, pretty spacious, it's pretty good. Um, will be probably two story. Um, and this will be the cutoff point. This will be the floor. Uh, probably we'll do, I don't know if I'll even do the interior. Um, who knows? This isn't like an important building. So probably honestly won't do the interior. Um, if we're being honest here, but you know, I could get inspired. Probably won't. <laughs> But yeah, so I wanted to just leave this off uh, here because this is a better place to leave it off. I mean, this is a far better, far more finished product than you saw before. Um, and yeah, I think it just looks much better than what I was leaving you off with last time, last clip because I didn't. I, I was going to end it off and show just like the shell of what I had done. And I didn't think that was very good for you. You guys come here for builds and you come here for, okay, you come here for my blabbing a little bit, but you come here for builds. And so I wanted to show you something. So this is my interpretation of a slightly smaller version of Grumpy's build, well, Grumpy's build. And then I took, I believe this is Ninny's build. Uh, so it's a slightly different variation of both of them. And then added a little bit of interest with the side dormers. But overall, I am very happy with how this has turned out. So I'm just going to be playing on here um, this next week or so. Um, just playing around, adding some stuff, building a few things here and there. Fix it and I are going to try and do something. And I think I'm going to do a build review sort of thing of one of Fix It's random builds. Maybe that one we looked at. It might have been last episode. I don't remember. Um, it's been quite a while. 
Um, so that all said, now the episode is going to be finished. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you liked uh, this build. Do you like anything that has been done today? I know we rambled and looked at a lot of stuff, um, but expect some more stuff coming out. Um, as I get start getting back more and more into the routine of things. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun time. I'm, ha- I'm looking forward to being able to jump back in on this series. So without further ado, guys, if you like the video, leave a like in real life. And if you like the channel and like everything that's happening right now, and uh, yeah, you want to see more, feel free to subscribe, join the little family we've got going here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.